There is no threat to Earth in 2012. All of the talk about a doomsday is a big hoax. Hello, I'm Robert Foster, your faithful host, streaming another episode on the frequency of Juice News infused with a healthy dose of sanity. Good morning, viewers. Tune in, gather round as we delve into a rap news update for the year 2012. We report that the worldwide ebb and flow of history is now plain and evident. Occupations of storm fortress walls with intense and taken up residence. Leaks and revelations have led to revolutions, a deluge of ferment. Ladies and gentlemen, if 2011 was a prelude, a portent of things to come, then it's dramatically clear we're in for a massive year. And to interpret these interesting times, we have General Baxter here. But we'll start with our resident expert, Terence Moonseed. Terence, what does this year mean as you see it? Oh boy, 2012 on the news feed! You better listen up, rapper, because I got a lot of phenomenal knowledge and I want to be dropping it. Finally, the news is choosing to report truth and a proper topic. You never stop me from hollering, brace yourselves, because I'm getting ready to send in the requisite academic medicine. Heaven sent quarrel and evidence never settling. When I'm grabbing a hammer and smashing the Nephilim. This is the time for humanity's ascension. The fifth sun set in line with procession and the Mayans' calendar prediction. On December 21, this world will rise in unison from its prison into the fifth dimension in the highest of wisdom. But as we'll see, it's the catalyst for a whole catalog of catastrophes, calamities as we reach the transcendental mechanical singularity. What will all this mean for the fate of humanity? It means the fiends that seek to deceive and keep us weak will reach a state of apogee. And it means that people seize the capacity for endless atrophy that is a planet we rise from apathy and challenge the draconian powers that be. Who are they? Aliens! Parasites! They're among us, keeping us trapped in captivity. General, you'll say? Now, I don't know what planet he's inhabiting, but what the hippie's saying is accurate. Forget the wacky analogy. Look around at the world and you'll see it's already actually happening. Right here on Earth, where human slaves are trying to rise to take on the great elite and take to the streets worldwide against corporate entities which have taken on human form. Protesting in New York, Portland, Spain, Greece, and distant Melbourne. Tent monster morons, homos, drummers, drug addicted freaks. They say they're protesting to demand justice and dignity. Seriously? I read in the New York Times quite the contrary. They lack clear demands. They just want to live for free and get sympathy. In fact, the only clear demand they've ever made is for some pepper spray in the effing face. Then they bitch and complain. But it's just a food product, essentially. I take it daily with my favorite drink. Bloody military. Hmm, perhaps speaking directly with the protesters will be wiser, so we now cross live to Liberty Plaza. Hello? Hello, fellow citizens of the World Wide Web. We're live streaming Global Revolution Direct and High Tech. The precariat is revolting. What can we expect to happen next? Let me get on the human megaphone. Yo, my check. My check! The 99%. 99%! Have one demand to present. present. Expressed clear. Express clear. The regime of alien corporations stands here. Are you the leader? No, we are a movement of free thinkers without hierarchical structure. Shut up. Oh, I've got to ask. If you're for free information, why the mask? Because I am but an idea whose time has arrived at last and you can shoot a person, but ideas are bulletproof. <laughs> Prove it's true. As you wish. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not. Um, but what is it? I know it. We do not forgive. We do not. Forget! Oh, yeah. Expect us. General? Terence? Could this be the global ship that will avert apocalypse? Nonsense! Although I admit, I'm pro-occupying policies. Wait, I expected you to say that Occupy should cease. Cease? We've been occupying for centuries on land, sky, and seas. We occupy North America, Australia, and Hawaii. And if you've forgotten, it's because we also occupy history. Our buddies have occupied territories. We've occupied Afghanistan and Iraq, and this year's plan is to hashtag Occupy Iran. Ha! Wars and invasions, that's what people are occupying again. If you you've benefited from occupation, then you're in the 1%. Why stop there? 2012 is a time of attainment. First we'll occupy the election and the next president's brainstem. And as soon as Earth is spent, we'll occupy the moon with spaceships. Then Mars, then we'll brutally occupy Uranus. Heinous! The only planet we actually have to worry about is Nibiru. Nibiru? Nibiru, the planet X of fear and doom. It's due to smash right into our system, oh. causing mass extinction, Whoa. bipolar shifting. So, so is this fact or science fiction? No, it's like a Sitchin who Cryptid Sumerian myths and show that we were cloned to mine gold by alien Illuminati. We're the slaves of aliens? Yes, the Anunnaki, and they're coming soon. No, we're coming, and we'll occupy Nibiru too. I'm confused. Are we the aliens? And if that's true, are we due to spread peace or war throughout the Milky Way? We'll bring love and life. We'll bring pepper spray. 
Well, dear viewers, it's probable that getting consensus on this issue is impossible. Therefore, we went to call on the honorable, venerable, great oracle. Oh, prophet, seer, all-knowing Chomsky, thank you for manifesting here. No problem. We seek your sage advice and better wisdom. For instance, how can we stop terrorism? There's a simple method. What is it? Just stop participating in it. So which, in your opinion, is the most significant threat to world peace? Our ignorance. I see. And how can we defeat this at last? Turn off your TVs for a start. The media at large do seem to paralyze, hypnotically divide, distract and atomize, and cause us to be brainwashed and servile. Your thoughts? That's not controversial. Well, we should thank you, O oh Oracle, for guiding and leading us. Not at all, Robert, uh, but uh, I'm no oracle or leader, I'm just a linguistics teacher. Alas, the time has arrived to end this episode. Much is left to be known, but we'll strive to analyze events as 2012 unfolds. Will we see aliens, popular awakening, mass insurrection, divine intervention, or who knows, maybe even a true democratic election? We'd set off for any one of them, but this grand human experiment seems to be sleepwalking towards a social, ecological, and existential reckoning. And with GM seeds in the soil, droids deployed, peak oil threatening this year's headline, will we avoid the precipice or dive off the edge of it? Whatever your preference, creed, conspiracy, or party membership, our fate could depend on what we want 2012 to represent. This date that we've subconsciously identified as our collective self-imposed deadline for correcting our way of life. With so much energy aligned on this point in time, with all that we are and could be potentially on the line, could this be our final meeting point prior to the rising or turning of the tide? The clock is already ticking. See you next time on the other side. Yeah, you do a great Chomsky impersonation. <laughs> <laughs> can I get a can I get a job? <laughs>